what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here today we're going to be talking about something that has always been on my mind something i would like to see and hopefully maybe uh one day toward to ever become a thing probably in the form of a fan film or a full-length feature film if this were to ever happen i probably this would be right up there with one of the biggest crossover movies i would like to see or that we ever could have gotten um for us as horror fans and what we're talking about here is what would be the result or the outcome if jeepers creepers the creeper from the jeepers creepers franchise went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh pennywise the dancing clown or the shape-shifting entity alien uh creature from stephen king's it now both of these creatures and both of these monsters alike are very similar in regards to some of the powers they have and some of the methods in which they operate they operate both operate on cycles stephen king's creature the it creature being the oldest pennywise he comes out every 27 or 30 years or so every 27 years to feed in the town of Derry, maine and then the creeper comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days to feed on the residents of the Poho county area now to the best of my knowledge it wouldn't be that hard or or that far out of the realm of possibility to assume or come to the conclusion that some of the lore of the creeper is derived or at least inspired from some of the mythology in, re in relation to the character of Pennywise because of the fact that these this character was created beforehand it's older than the creeper character and when I say it's older I'm talking about the as far as like the ink the who who was created first in terms of artistic value pennywise was created long before uh victor salva had his creeper character around so it wouldn't that be too far-fetched to sit down and assume that victor salva had some type of inspiration possibly or pulled some inf inspiration from stephen king's monster pennywise the killer clown now in my honest opinion what i'm about to go over is not who i want to win again it's who would win who i want to win versus who would win completely two completely different things if we had the character of pennywise to go one-on-one -on -one, toe to toe with the creeper uh it's quite possible uh at least to me my knowledge that the creeper wouldn't even wouldn't even stand a chance against pennywise it honestly would be the character of pennywise who i feel like would get the upper hand pennywise would ultimately end up dethroning the creeper and what we end up seeing is just a of course a full length battle between these two monsters two iconic characters both respectively clashing it out maybe we have some characters from both of them both of the films crossing over into one big epic epic long feature movie and we just get to see these two monsters duke it out now the character of pennywise has certain powers certain powers that makes me feel that he would get the upper hand and that would make the creeper stand not a lick of a chance against it so to the best of my knowledge from what i know pennywise does possess super speed super strength similar things that we know the creeper possesses i'm going to include super strength and super speed for the creeper the super speed aspect we never got to actually see come to fruition due to the budget budget restrictions that the first movie ultimately had to work with but originally in that first script he did have super speed so we know they both share similar traits there with super speed both have super strength both have the ability to do things with their mind mind manipulation however pennywise has one thing that the creeper does not they can both regenerate parts as well but pennywise is a little bit different pennywise is a shape-shifting entity he can turn into different animals he can turn into different things that people are afraid of based off of their fears um so i think that's ultimately going to be one thing that would put him at an advantage over the creeper and the fact that to the best of our knowledge pennywise his weakness lies in the fact of when you're not afraid of him anymore now given that the creeper or pennywise i don't think neither one of those two would necessarily be afraid of the other the creeper he feeds off of fear that might be something that could help out the creeper if he were to ever real if pennywise gets into a situation where let's say the creeper isn't afraid of it or it belittles it the way that the characters from the it franchise did in the end of the second movie and it just gets to a point where the creature has no powers because the creeper is not afraid of it 
that might be the only upper hand the creeper has but aside from that the shape shifting aspect that's enough for me to think instantly that Pennywise is going to be able to easily dethrone the creeper not saying it wouldn't be a, an all-out brawl but I know the creeper would come with some heavy hits but at the end of the day there's only so much I feel like he would be able to do against this alien necessarily that's what it essentially is the shape-shifting alien that is Pennywise the dancing clown um, ultimately we could end up seeing Pennywise and the creeper just duke it out maybe in the Poho County area or in the town of Derry, Maine somehow but honestly in the end of it the creeper after putting up a much a much well deserved fight a well a well calculated attack against Pennywise he would ultimately take the loss here because of the fact that also Pennywise has these his his source of power comes from the deadlights uh i believe those things kind of put people in a trance now whether or not this puts the creeper in the trance because there's certain things and certain aspects to, that we know pennywise has control over when it comes to humans he terrorizes humans primarily who's to say that some of these powers won't work against the creeper that's always a possibility so maybe the deadlights wouldn't be a factor maybe that would keep the creeper in contention to possibly have the upper hand but my honest opinion the creeper would be dethroned he'd be beaten he'd be victimized uh pennywise would come out on the upper hand here just because of the simple fact that the creeper doesn't possess that ability to shapeshift and i feel like the shape-shifting aspect of pennywise is something that's very crucial to avoiding the creeper getting around him making the creeper second guess its strategy in regards to taking it out that would be something the creeper has never gone up against and possibly something that is stronger than it so my honest, my honest opinion we'll see the creeper go through one hell of a battle but he would not get the upper hand now in my own personal opinion of course i would construct the film or this narrative to play out with the creeper actually winning and pennywise would be the one getting dethroned but based off of everything i know about the two characters and the two the two and their powers that they share one has the advantage over the other and that advantage is the shape-shifting aspect of pennywise to me um and the fact that just from what i what what we see from the character half of the things that the creeper does are are to humans uh, and again the same thing with pennywise but there are elements to pennywise that make him much more of a volatile threat to the creeper than makes the creeper a threat to pennywise so that's my honest opinion on what i what i see happening if we were to ever get a showdown like that we had the if we had pennywise versus the creeper pennywise would win the creeper would possibly just be beaten he wouldn't kill the creeper because again the creeper is immortal same way with pennywise uh i believe pennywise is immortal or he's supposed to be uh i still i haven't watched the two it films recently i haven't read the book recently i know for a fact that that entity itself is supposed to be an unstoppable force but maybe maybe i'm forgetting something here he might not be as immortal as i i, I remember him to be but if he again like in my honest opinion based off of all the facts pennywise would get the upper hand pennywise would beat the creeper and the creeper would just be in the same position that we saw him in after jack taggart senior bludgered him to death or punctured him nearly to death at the end of jeepers creepers 2 up until his cocoon came back over him because it was time for him to go back into his resting cycle uh honestly by the end of this battle he probably looked a little bit more worse he probably have lost his arms legs he probably have lost several different things by now there's only so much the creeper can do and with the way pennywise operates i don't see this ending very well for our creeper now again as i mentioned i would like to see the creeper get the upper hand but from the most part what we know about these two characters in my honest opinion and you guys let me know what you think am i crazy to think that pennywise would be the one to come out on top here let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below i'm not really too i'm not really too uh sure what you guys are going to say but i'm pretty sure i'm going to get a lot of split reactions to this you guys might say the creeper has the advantage but that's that's going to be up to you i can't wait to see what you guys share down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts I'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video